Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, and this is going to be our Wow Wednesday this week. And, of course, it's coming to you on Thursday. My order came in from Stampin' Up. Now, I had gotten the pre-order before, and you saw some of that earlier. I had shot that. But now this is my big order, and I'm still lacking a few items. So, we're going to go through this. And if you haven't gotten the catalog... You can see how beautiful it is, and it has wonderful material in it. And I, at the back, got some tabs over at the office store, and I just tabbed it with some of the places, the paper basics, the framelits, uh, the embossing, the index, because at the back, it lists all of your stamp sets, and then if you go beyond it, it lists the, uh, the stamp set that have words so that you can refer to that quite easily. So if you don't have this yet, you need to think about, don't even think about it, go in to my site, Stampin' Pink Rose, and put in a request for the catalog. You're going to absolutely love this. And the pictures, and there's ideas, and you will find different ideas to do different things. And this one here is just luscious. I'm really excited. I've got that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through this, and I'm going to get a little bit of this mess cleared away because I know it is right cluttered on this small table. So we're going to start with something very simple. We're going to start with some accessories. We're going to start on a different end because I just want to get it off the table. Okay, this is the new brayer. It has got a sponge, and it's about one and three-fourths. And so you will see me use this periodically. I am dying to give this a try because I thought if I wanted a tonal effect, it would be an excellent idea. Okay, so there's the brayer sponge. Okay, I got some new ribbon. This is the burlap. This is a, a cucumber cr a crush, and they have it as kind of with lines as something different. Our last one was lace. This is a, a cream lace. I do some wedding cards, so that I thought that would be real pretty to have. Okay, so now you're going to find me leaning different times. Here is, um, this one is called the 2016-18 Color Enamel Shapes. So you've got some circles, some hearts, and some stars. And they're, they're the different colors that the stamp, um, uh, our new inks are in. Okay, so I'm going to start throwing things down there. This is the doilies. This is the color doilies. Before we had the silver and the gold doilies. These are the color doilies. So I got the color doilies. I thought I'd play with them. This is your Thick Baker's Trying Mellow Mambo that I picked up. And I also picked up the white that's that. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to toss this down. This one here is your Black Solid Baker's Twine. Haven't gotten in it. As I said, this just came. So let's get this open a minute. So this one is doesn't look as thick as those other two that I just showed you. So this will be a thinner baker's twine. Okay. All right. Copper embossing. Uh, this is for shaker cards. This is your foam adhesive strips. And I'm going to be doing quite a few shaker cards coming up. So, this is for the shaker cards. Okay, now that goes down. Told you, we're going to clear it easily. Okay, um, embossing folders came in. And the ones I got here, and I had gotten a couple earlier, but this one here is Seaside. So, you can see this kind of has a wavy action. I thought it would be different than using the hardwood. Here is your Petal Burst. So you've got petals here, and you'll be seeing this. This one here I have plans for. This is called Sparkle, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So that one's going to be a pretty one. And then this one here is Festive. That's that new Southwest one theme. So if you, let me reach down and grab this. If you are from the Southwest, you're going to probably be in love with this one here. And I gotta get open. The new festive one here. I didn't order it. I'm from the Midwest, and so it's not quite my thing. 
So, but I did order the paper, so I'll show you that in a minute. But there is your Southwest. So if you're into those kinds of things or do a Southwest kind of theme. Okay, so those are your embossings. Okay, now they're going down there on the floor. Okay. And next one is your new, and I'll take them out. I have not loaded them on my magnetic platforms yet. As you can see, these have just come in. Okay, this one is sweet and sassy. It is the first time I've had this. I have the regular heart collection, but not this. Okay, so this one here has got your hearts that are interlocking, and you can build. And there's different sizes here on this. Let's pull it out all the way. So you're going, okay, we'll be picking them up. Okay, so there's your hearts on that one. Okay. Okay, next one is circles. And I'm opening these right with you guys. Okay, I'm not winning on my stack, am I? <laughs> okay. Okay, so here is your uh, circles. Now, remember our last circles, I think it had one scallop. Now this has all your different scallops. So you can layer it. You could do a scallop and then a, a plain circle and then a scallop or just a scallop alone. So whatever you're wanting on that. That's going to be so neat to be able to use that. Okay. Okay, down on the floor. Okay, next one is ovals. I'm kind of excited over this. The only thing I was said about was the punches going away on some of these. Oh, you will see me use my punches. So what you'll need to do is probably go over and grab your ovals or your circles or whatever it is to be able to use in conjunction. So again, remember I told you how you've got your scallops and how you can go in and out. So you can do the same with your ovals. So there's your ovals. I was thrilled to get these. Okay, down. Okay. And the next and last one of this group is your squares. plastic on the floor. Watch me slide on it in a little bit. Okay. Okay. So now here is your squares. Um, remember the uh, the um, artist one that I did a week or so ago that was um, the easel. I'll be able to fit this in with the easel and do that. So there's your scallop that goes in and out plus your straight. So that's going to be interesting to use. And depending on usage and how I use, I may even be going back to my old ones. So don't get rid of your old ones. By any means, keep using them. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. What can I do? Um, let's go over here. I'm going to move over here. Okay. These here are single sets. Pretty kitty. I have a thing for animals. So when I see the animal ones, the nature ones... I kind of go gaga over them. So uh, that's my absolute weakness. So there's Pretty Kitty. Okay. Um, hang on a minute. Because we're minus him. Where'd he go? Somebody else needs equal time, guys. There he is, right by my foot. The dog one. For you that are dog lovers, this is Bella and Friends. I'm thinking note cards. I'm thinking how cute wouldn't these be? Note cards, get wells, some things like that. So there's that. Okay. For you Harley motorcycle people, I got one wild ride. I had to get it. My son has a motorcycle, so I had to have this. He has a Harley. So I will need it in the fall for his birthday. So I had to have it because I wanted to start because so many people always tell me it's hard to get man cards. So, I got the Harley, and remember a while ago I said on that one embossing folder I had plans for the sparkle. I'm thinking the sparkle might be pretty with this. So, that's what I'm thinking on this. Okay. 
This one is a single uh, full, uh, single stamp set, Layering Love. So I think that's going to be fun. You can put it inside the heart that is the sassy heart that I just showed. Okay. Thankful Thoughts is another one. And you have the, the another part of that designer tin of cards. So if you got last year's designer tin of cards, then this is another one to go with it. And of course you can use it separately. Congrats, so happy for you. Sending love, celebrate your day. I always knew you could do it. And hoping you catch it. Then it's got Christmas party and small print. I think it's going to be a cute one to use. Okay, I think background stamping is extremely important a lot of times. So I picked up the two touches of texture. They come in, uh, in uh, two different ones, but they're all together when you order. So it will come as one set, but it comes in two packages. So now you have the flower. You have some more of the texture here. You have some more texture here and you have some flowers. So I'm looking forward to using this because I think, as I said, background stamps really add to it. So here comes another one. This is Playful Backgrounds. This looks like bubbles to me. So I'm thinking that might kind of be fun. The fish one I didn't order, but it will get here eventually. So I will order that. Okay, now I'm going to, pardon me, I'm going to set this stuff on the floor so we don't end up with another avalanche. Okay. Another stamp set, and I gotta lean down here, guys. I'm sorry. Another stamp set I got was Fresh Fruit. Remember, Apple, my eye was the one that retired out. Um, I still want to go and use it. So, here is that. It's a nice birthday one. And this one's been around. It's Heartful Symphony, and I had not got it before. And I've been eyeing it, and I just decided I need to do some sympathy cards. So it has remembering the life someone so special and setting thoughts of sympathy and peace. And it is so hard to come up with verses for the inside of the cards. And Stampin' Up! is starting to do a wonderful job with giving you verses on the inside. That's why some of the thank you ones are going to be great, because you're going to be able to stamp on the inside and do it that way and not have to totally write something. And sometimes you absolutely just don't know what to say. Okay, so that's down. Okay, then over here, Foxy Friends came in. Now, I was talking to the district office the other day, stamping up, and they informed me that the gal that does a lot of the production of um, training for us uh, stamping demonstrators, said that we can make 80 animals with this set. It has got 29 pieces. Look at this. And remember Peaceful Pines? There's your tree that you're going to be able to use with it. So you could do a scrapbook scene. You could do a card. That's what I'm going to be doing is the cards. And remember I told you. I'm a sucker for the nature and the animals because I think it's just cute to be able to send those kinds of things out. So here's the punch. I'm going to be showing you how to use that coming up. So there's that. Okay, so now this, I'm holding off something to the side for the moment. This is uh, your flourishing phrases here. Remember we lost Eleanor, everything Eleanor. So I'm looking for some replacements for Eleanor. So here comes this, and this has the phrases here, and I'm going to read some to you. With sympathy, obviously very easy. Words can't express just how deeply your love and support has been appreciated. Okay, if you've had a death in the family and you need to send out a ton of thank you cards for it, you've got something right here instead of having to write it. Praying that your heart will be lifted by many loving thoughts that surround you today. Again. Another one to put out for that. And then, of course, marriage is a journey. So with some wonderful things there. Uh, and just a note, if you're doing a note card. So you could do that. And the thank you. So there's those. Okay, now because you've got this guy here, you need to have, and I'll take it open. Okay. 
Okay, you need to have the flurry. Uh, uh, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, let's. That one goes to the other one. Okay, let's, you need to have the die for it. So here is the die that will go with it. So you right, have it right there. So now you get a choice. You can stamp and then cut with this. You could do it totally alone. It's going to be your choice. But what a beautiful thing. And remember, with bundles, you're saving 10% on your stamp set. You're on your whole pro, uh, order. So you'll save 10% if you use bundle it together. Okay, so now there goes that one down. And I'm probably going to have an avalanche. Now the one I accidentally grabbed, a few years ago we had preserved jars or something like that. This is a little different jar set. And I have not got my old one out yet. So I'm thrilled to get this one out. And now we have the jars. And you're going to see flowers sticking out of it and everything. It's just going to be charming to do this. So here's your jars. Look at your pieces. So, and I would put on that magnetic thing that I showed you a month or so ago, how to do the magnetic thing. So go back and look at my videos and you'll see how to position these on the man magnetic so you don't lose all these pieces. Okay, so there's your jars. Okay. So there's one. Here is another one. This one is Sunshine Sands. Remember that flower wait a minute ago I showed you that I thought was so pretty? To be able to do a set okay so here is this and we are just exploring together guys so now here comes this oh this is not the one hmm birds and blooms I grabbed by accident I'll explain that one in a minute this is the one that goes with this okay 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 Okay, let me show you this one, and then I'll tell you what's going on with that other one. And it got mixed in with it. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Hopefully. Nope, this goes with falling flowers. Okay, this goes with falling flowers right here. So this goes with this. And I have to figure out where... The framelit for that goes. There is a framelit. Okay, what's here? This one. I've got it over here. Okay, so now this one goes up. Pardon me. They just kind of got mixed. This is falling flowers. This goes with this. So you'll have that to use. Okay. So that goes. Okay. All right. Now the one that got mixed. I'm just going to toss these downstairs there. Is this one. And I'll explain the bird one in a minute. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's your sunshine that I tried to get here. This goes with this. And it has wonderful words. Can't even read them sometimes when they're this way, so I'm going to pull one up. Hey, we all... Okay, let's flip it. We have sunshine, we have congratulations, we have love, and we have happy, hope, hope here. So you got congrats, sunshine, love, hope. So I love it when they cut the words out. So, there's a beautiful one there. So, that goes with this one. Okay. Now, the reason why the bird one was sitting up here separate, and I will show it to you. Let me get this back in here. All right. I'm just going to lay it over here. Okay. Is because my bird stamp set evidently is on back order. So that is what is going on with that. So I'm going to be having to wait for my bird stamp thing. And hopefully it will be in shortly. So that's why it was kind of out there wandering by itself. 
Okay, then I got birthday banners. Okay, and I want to show you something in the catalog. They have a lot of banners in here. And I got to figure out where that banner went. I got one of them, which is the birthday one that you saw. I got this one, okay. But there is another one that was a full large one, and it has a framelit for, with it. And right now, I should have probably marked it for you guys. It has a framelit with it. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, well, I'm at it. If I get it here. Okay, we're going to flip. We're just absent. All right, I'm going to stop here for a minute. On this one here, I didn't notice. It's my fault. I didn't notice that there is, you can bundle and you can get this piece to go with this. So, eventually I'm going to go back and I'm going to get this piece here. Okay. So, that I want to caution you. This is it. Okay. This here is your large banner thing. And then it comes, and I'll go to 193 on this. It comes with this banner here. Okay, if you bundle it. And this time around, I didn't purchase it. This is my second round of banners. So this is the birthday one. This is, and it will work, part of it will work with your punch. So this is the second round on banners. So I will have to get the other one probably next month. So I've got those, and I think we've covered it on it. So, oh, forgot one of the most important thing, our paper. Hey, everybody's saying, where's the paper? Where's the paper? So, here we go. I'm glad I stopped. Okay, I went and got some cardstock type paper. So, that's what's here. My gold had to be replaced. I needed more of it. So, that's why I have it. Okay, the little small paper, 6 by 6 I believe is what it is, which is great for cards, is goes with the Foxy. So, this is Foxy Friends, a little Foxy. And you've got your fox. But you've also got some just pretty general paper. Remember, it's double-sided, so beautiful paper. Look if you're using that with your gray. And, of course, remember on here is always the list of your colors, which this one is basic black, clips of coral, pool party, smoky slate, and whisper white. Then this one here is your serene scenery which is just luscious and it really works with that other stamp set which I think I'm going in and put an order in for and it is absolutely gorgeous and look at this for your wood backgrounds okay so this is going to be really a pretty one to use I love the colors on this one and this one is using Bermuda Bay, Crumb Bake, Del uh, Delightful Dijon, Island Indigo, Old Olive, Pool Party, Whisper Bright. Remember the other day I told you I don't use my Island Indigo as much as I should. Okay, this paper here is the Moroccan. And I'm going to pull it back just a little. Because I do not like taking them out until I'm ready to use. So here comes this. And I'm going to let you flip it and I'm going to let you see it. Of course, two-sided. Always has your colors. So isn't this luscious? You know, this is along the line, remember we had the last time, Bohemia. So now we have this one as something different. So this one's pretty, okay? Okay, the next one I have here, I don't have the names memorized, is Blooms and Bliss, okay? So beautiful flower paper. So now you've got flowers, you've got that on the other side for solid. Here's a pattern, then you've got another print, some more here. Look at this color here, isn't that pretty? So some of this I'm going to be able to use even for the masculine because 
I don't think this is bad or this we're using on the masculine side of the cards. Okay. All right. Now, here comes the Fiesta. Remember I said the Southwest paper and I said I didn't get the stamps because it just doesn't work for me. But I thought the paper was luscious. So look at the dots. Again, almost a uh, 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 bohemian feel on that or Moroccan. So you've got all these luscious, different designs. There's cactus, but you don't have to use a cactus. There's a pretty pink there. Here comes the dot. So on the paper end, if you're not into the Southwest, you're going to, oh, I love this. Look at the striping. That is really pretty and colorful. Okay, so there is your Fiesta. This one here is your black and white. And remember, I got Papa Pink already. This is Floral Boutique. Okay, so let's pull that back just a little for you. Okay. Okay, there's your paper. Can you see the beautiful black and whites? There's a stripe. Stampin' Up always does such a wonderful job with the paper, and of course you're going to be able to coordinate. And then here's your fruit that I had got. So this is going to be nice with the fruit. Gosh, on a, summer, or a hot summer day, doing one of these cards is going to be just absolutely delightful. Look at that. There's strawberries. There's your striping. There's some pretty yellow. There's your greens with the pears. Then there's a floral kind of thing. And here's your apples. And then you've got a pretty citrus one on the other side. So I think this has got some real pretty paper to it. Okay, and the last thing I have for you is our 2016-18 in colors. Okay, now I'm going to start flipping and I'll let you just look. Dots, uh, writing, diagonal. Look at that pretty color there on that. That sweet, uh, sweet uh, sugar plum. Or is no, flirty flamingo. And then the other one was your peach. Okay. So now you've got your other one. Back here was your sweet sugar plum. This one is your Flirty Flamingo. Wait, I'm still getting used to the names, but I love the names they give these. Emerald MV or MB or Emerald. And then there's your Navy. So, I hope this has given you some idea what's in the catalog, what to order, maybe consider ordering. I'll be showing different designs now that I've got these all in. I'm going to have to go and get my room organized. So, if you need a catalog or you don't have a demonstrator, uh, consider uh, putting in a request for a catalog from me at stampinpinkrose.com where stampin' ideas are always in bloom. If you would like to consider being a demonstrator, by all means, email me at pamela at stampin' pink rose and I'll schedule a time to have a conference with you on the phone and we can talk about it. I can answer your questions. If you've got some short questions, I can do an email, but otherwise, if you want to come on my team, I'll be happy more to discuss that with you. Uh, no obligation to keep going. Once you join, you'll get two free stamp sets for the month of June if you join. That's a $104 value. That is stamp set of your choice. Uh, you'll also get $30 free stamp set of your choice for me uh, on that. Uh, you get free shipping on your items. And then after that, you'll get your discount of 20%. And I welcome hobbyists of all kinds, uh, whether you're seriously wanting to do a lot or you're just wanting to do a little for your family. Um, the idea is that we all have fun stamping and we enjoy it. So again, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. Thank you for joining me on a Wow Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed the blog hop yesterday. And I will have a card video for you on Friday. So take care and thanks again and have a good day.